So whatever, so the first one, whatever is appearing, it appearing as a support. Just look at the contemplate that one moment. Whatever is appearing, or appearing means whatever circumstances that you find yourself in, or whatever are thoughts that are happening in you, whatever emotions that you're feeling in you, these situations, these thoughts, these emotions can be support to you. If they become support to you, it is a sign of success of the practice. It's a sign of realization. Then you look at circumstances, well, usually I would get mad at this situation, but why am I feeling joy? Well, it's a good sign. Don't ask too many questions. <laughs> it's a good sign. If you ask the same question five times, it will disappear, I guarantee you. Because you're doubting it. You're disconnecting with it. And it's very easy for you. It's very easy to bring back the depression and anger immediately because that's so used to it. It's right there behind you, waiting for you. I'm here when you need me. <laughs> I will be instantly with you, right? So, so just being, experiencing, that's important. First one. So, whatever appears, appears as a friend. So appearances are your friend. The experiences are your friend. Every single of your thoughts are your friend. Every emotion that you're experiencing are your friend, including your own depression, sadness. Your friend. That, that's the ones. And the second one, Second one is, it says, Kangjung Tekar Chetsamna. Kangjung Tekar Chetsamna. If they are not appearing immediately as a friend, but your ability to cut through that. Remember, we were talking about last few masters, and we also talked about it. We also experienced that a little bit. It's the idea about remaining presence and trusting the power of presence and cutting through the appearances and experiences, rather than manipulating them. Just being present. I was just, you know, watching a little, there was something on Facebook. Um, I don't know how, 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 where, where it is, but there, I've seen a number of situations like that. This, this woman in, in somewhere in Africa or something, there like a lot of these tigers or, or tigers around, and um, then she, chase them away. Like, I was giving an example of the dog in the neighborhood, the same thing. So it's, I would not try with a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> so she would go toward them, they would run away. And she would run away, they would run after her. So she was, each, ti each of the tigers were doing the same thing. You go toward them, they run away, you run away, you they chase after. You're like a dog, same thing. But you, you remain in the presence like this. which I haven't tried with the dogs, but she was trying this with a tiger and just presence, and then slowly she, she sat down, and the tiger sat down, and then and she gently approached the tiger, and the tiger started to lick her hand. So that, that play of like a very this dualistic threatening each other were calmed down by being connection with the presence. And then through that presence, not only just presence, but there was a warmth arising, and there was, you know, the tiger was licking her hand. You know, it's a beautiful image. And uh, another image that I've seen is also the same like in Africa, these, these people who are like basically hung, hunger for food and 
just looking for hunting, and then there's a this hungry lions and hungry people looking for the meat, right? So there was a, this meat deer or whatever there was there, and they were like trying to get it. And imagine, you know, like a people with spears, right? But with I don't know if they have peer or not, but but they were they did not have a gun or anything like that. They were just like they were like this strong sense of presence. These hungry lions are like like really like this, and they were just walking toward the, that deer or the meat, and the tigers were like the lions were like going back 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 back, run away, and they got the. What I'm trying to say here is some sense kind of represents what these teachings are saying. These tigers are like our own ego who just wanted to kill you, who is hunger more, 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 and more. The hungry of more of everything and anything is going to kill you. It's going to, it, you're going to lose many, many things because of that hunger. You have to confront that. You have to face that. But facing that with not with another hunger, another need, but facing that with pure presence. So when you remain pure presence with these experiences, they liberate, they dissolve. It's like a powerful camera lens, like a macro lens, that you zoom in and in and in and in and in until these partial pieces of images kind of dissolve into the pixels and pixels and pixels and pixels, and millions of pixels. And in the end, if you look at one of those pixels, it's nothing than just light. At some point, even if it's not a light, it's like, a, like something beyond word. The omnipresence of that space and awareness, it's there. It's already there. But when you distance it, it allows you to project your fear on it. When you went so close to it, it totally dissolved. It, totally, it, it was always like that. It dissolved for you. You recognize the truth of it. And that recognition is the liberation. That's what's happening, you know?